Sebastian Perrier just recently released a script that has its own uh, script user interface or UI panel. And uh, I just thought I'd really briefly, in about 90 seconds, give you the big picture of this script. Particular is fabulous. It's a true 3D program in, in, inside After Effects in, in certain respects. But it has a limitation in terms of how it interacts with other 3D elements. And I'm going to go ahead and preview this movie to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. Um, so what I've got here is I've got three text elements that are placed further back in Z space. And I have this particular emitter that, although the emitter box size goes way back in space and it also moves way forward in space, um, ideally, if this if particular interacted with these other elements correctly, you would see some of these particles pass in front of the text and some particles would pass behind the text based on its Z depth. But um, After Effects, is core, of course, is only about a two and a half D program, so we don't really have that kind of sophisticated interaction. This particular um, resolves that by basically breaking up the, um, the particle layer into separate pieces that are appropriately stacked relative to your other elements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all select my comp. I'm going to select the layer that is emitting the particles. And I'm going to go ahead and click, click this particular. And what that's going to do is it's going to break up and create additional layers that are all puppeted or controlled by a, um, a master controller, which is this first layer up here. Now, this current iteration of the, of the script kind of messes up the stacking order a little bit in terms of your 2D layers. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my um, background and I'm going to move, move it back down to the bottom. And you'll notice already that something magical is happening here in terms of our Z sorting. Let me go ahead and preview this now. And you'll see that some of the particles are passing in front and some are passing behind these various layers in Z space relative to the true particle's depth in Z space, which is what we really want. So it gives us an additional layer of sophistication and capability that we didn't have before. And so I want to commend uh, and thank uh, Sebastian for his fine work. Uh, so again, there it is. It's particular. Thanks, Sebastian.